It's easier than ever to follow your heart with Forerunner 15, the GPS running watch that records your distance, heart rate, pace, and more. Before your first run, be sure to charge the watch. Plug the cable into your computer and snap your watch onto the charger. It may take up to three hours to fully charge. The first time you turn on your watch, it will ask you a few setup questions so you can select your language preference and set up your user profile. You'll also have a chance to turn activity tracking on or off. Let's take a look at the keys and icons on your watch. The key on the upper left turns the backlight on and off. Press and hold to turn the watch on and off. The key on the lower left with the steps icon scrolls through activity tracking data, returns to the previous screen, and marks a new lap. On the lower right, the down arrow key scrolls through data screens and menu options. When paired with your Bluetooth-enabled smartphone, Vivo Active can gently alert you to the same notifications that appear in the notification center of your smartphone, such as incoming calls, text and email, as well as notifications from your calendar and social media apps. To sync your phone's notifications with your Vivo Active device, enable the Bluetooth technology on your smartphone and make sure your Vivo Active remains within 30 feet of the phone. You can set your Vivo Active to gently vibrate when it receives a new notification. To clear the screen, simply press the back button on the bottom left of the touch screen. If you don't press the back button, the notification will automatically clear after a short period of time. To view all of your notifications, swipe left or right on the touch screen until you get to the notifications menu and then tap on the menu for the complete list. Swipe the list left or right to view all your notifications. To view a message in full, select a notification. Hi, my name is Bill Schmidt with Sunto. Today I'm introducing the Ambit 3 Sport in black. The new Sunto Ambit 3 Sport comes in three colors, black, blue, and white. You can use your smartphone to share and sync outdoor activities in real time. You can customize your watch settings on the go instead of on your computer. It, it works with an iPhone or an iPad as a second watch display. You can see calls, messages, and push notifications on the watch. The Sunto Smart Sensor is included with all Ambit 3 heart rate versions. Its compact, comfortable fit is the smallest compatible Bluetooth uh, heart rate on the market. You can measure heart rate in and out of the water. With the free Sunto Moves Count app, you can use your smartphone to share and sync outdoor activities. Train smarter with Surge, the fitness super watch with built-in GPS to measure distance, pace, and time. Use automatic, continuous heart rate to maintain intensity, monitor calorie burn, and maximize results. Surge syncs your stats wirelessly and goes beyond workouts with all-day stats and text and call notifications so you can crush your goals. Track it. See it. Beat it. Surge.
Only from Fitbit. This video will guide you through the basics of setting up and using your Forerunner 630 for the first time. Before your first run, you want to be sure your watch is fully charged. Just plug the included USB cable into your computer and clip the charger onto your watch. The first time you turn on your watch, it will ask you a few setup questions so you can select your language preference and set up your user profile. You'll also have a chance to turn activity tracking on or off. To get a basic understanding of how your Forerunner works, let's take a look at the keys and basic functions on your watch. The power key turns the backlight on and off. Press and hold to turn the watch on or off. The key on the upper right with the runner icon turns your Forerunner from watch mode into active mode. It also starts and stops the timer. The key on the lower right with the looped arrow icon is used to manually mark a new lap. On the lower The TomTom Spark enables you to run smarter with real-time running information. When starting your run, wait for confirmation that the watch has a GPS signal. Then simply press the button to the right when the word Go appears and you are ready to start your run. GPS only works outside and it can take a few seconds to link to the satellites. Stand still to get a fix fast. It's also a good idea to connect your watch to your computer or smartphone on a regular basis to get quick GPS fix. To scroll through your real-time statistics while you run, simply press the button up or down. To pause a run, push and hold the button to the left to return to the start screen. Scroll up to review a summary of your run. From the pause screen, you can click right to continue
This video will guide you through the basics of setting up and using your 4Runner 235 for the first time. Before your first run, you want to be sure your watch is fully charged. Just plug the included USB cable into your computer and clip the charger onto your watch. The 4Runner 235 uses sensors to read heart rate at the wrist, giving you the option to run without a heart rate strap. To get the most accurate heart rate reading, make sure the watch face is placed above your wrist bone. Secure the band snugly around your wrist. The first time you turn on your watch, it will ask you a few setup questions so you can select your language preference and set up your user profile. Now, let's take a look at the keys and basic functions on your watch. The power key turns the backlight on and off. Press and hold to turn the watch on or off. The key on the upper right with the runner icon starts and stops the timer. It also acts as the enter key when you need to select a menu option or acknowledge a message on screen. Use the lap key on the lower right to manually mark a lap time when running. When the timer is not running, this key functions as a back key to return to a previous screen. On the lower left, the up and down arrow